Yes! <laughs> guys, so awesome. we weren't lying. Look, there's smallies out here. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Weston Smith channel. A fun one in store for you today, man. Smallmouth catches in Dallas, Texas. But first, a huge thank you. We are seeing amazing growth on the YouTube channel. Uh, 2,100 or 2,200 new subscribers this last month. That's insane growth. And we just appreciate you guys so much. One of the biggest ways I'm trying to repay you guys is putting out one video a day. So for the last month, I put out one video a day. I think I missed April 6th. And aside from that, we're gonna continue this train of one YouTube video every single day as long as we can, man. I'm super pumped about the entire idea, especially during quarantine when we don't have a whole lot to do. And today's no different. I wanna come up with fresh ideas for y'all. And we went out early this morning, got on some smallmouth, got on a ton of largemouth. The bite was insane. Haven't had a day of fishing like this in some time. And also, we're out with Torrance who caught his first ever smallmouth. Big shout out to him. His information is gonna be linked down in the description. Go ahead and check him out. We got Zeke over here chilling, Otis in the background. I'm editing the video right now. Mixing this in with some kayak content we've been putting out lately, hopefully getting out on the boat with some friends sometime soon. We're just doing it big out here in Dallas, Texas, you guys. With that said, thank you so much to all of our new subscribers. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. Wait, 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 one last thing. I promise, only one. This video was filmed and edited today, May 1st. It kind of got prioritized and skipped the line because we had so much fun this morning. I'm just hyped to get this edit out there. So yeah, let's go ahead and hit the water. We caught so many fish. Here we go. All right, sun is coming up quick, y'all. 6.30. Let's get after these little fishies. Our spinning setup got uh, stolen recently when we left it at a pond, so I just got the casting gear. Oh, that's a big fish right there. Man, there's fish hugging these walls. There's like a feeding frenzy happening over here. Got something. There we go. First largemouth and it's pretty decent size. First fish in the morning, guys. All right. Large mouth on the Ned rig, and I just saw a couple more below us. They are right here in the grass. Not a bad way to start the morning, ladies and gents. And what are we catching on? I was honestly expecting a really small guy, but you're like two, two plus. Let's get you back in the water. There's so many I see getting stirred up along the bank. I just saw another largey right here. See you, bud. Telling you what, in that grass, that little rattle. And I'm using like kind of a larger Ned head today just because uh, with this casting gear, I wanna make sure I'm not getting too many backlashes and I've got a little bit of weight to this. So this thing's not actually that light. It's almost like throwing out a Texas rig bandito bug on that big mushroom head jig. Can I just, got it. Oh, 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 just had one. I see him, so oh, it was a gill, blue gill. I'm like, why didn't I get that hook set? <laughs> Normally, a bass would grab this whole Ned rig easily. Something's biting, but again, I don't think it's a bass. He's got it. Oh, it was that time. All right, there we go. All right, see you, buddy. Rattling Ned is doing work. I don't throw this too often, so this is a nice little switch up. We are finessing it down. I gotta say, I really want to like put a bandito bug on this or something. <laughs> I think I have the mini trench hogs with me. I really want to do that, but I know there's smallmouth in here. They would probably hit either of those. I know they hit bandito bugs, but uh, I'm just going to keep throwing something a little different. Oh, got one in the hole. Yep, right where he was supposed to be. I saw an opening in the grass right there, and I said, okay, let me just drop the net down. Did y'all see that? I was up against the wall, and I whipped out the uh, rod tip, and I just put it right there. That's funny. They're just hanging out in this grass, man. Oh, 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 oh. Easy does it now. Please do not rip my Ned rig. Please do not rip my Ned rig. Oh, that is the only heavy head I've got. Oh, wow. And it came unhooked. All right. Just toss that right there for a couple Instagram photos and a story. Let's get you back in the water because we want to find another uh, three pounder, four pounder in here. A small mouth would be nice, but uh, I'm having fun catching all of you right back to his little hole. Cool. Yeah, I hit up Torrance, told him the bite was on, so he's actually on his way over here as well. Let me hit up another hole in this grass. No bites. Oh, I think I actually had a bite as I was lifting it up. I might have pulled it right out of his mouth. Let me drop that back down. Got him. 
Got one. Oh, he's fighting too. He's pretty good, all right. All right, I gotta let him go over here because I don't want to stir up those other bass that are in that corner. I want to try and catch him. Oh, he's got it, got him. There we go. Might be the biggest one. I think this is fish number five. Yes, man. That's not the biggest one. <laughs> but that will do. I think that's number five, man. It's only 725. We've been out here for an hour, maybe. Shorty alright with me. No No, chill. I gotta help you out here. There it goes. I'm about to lose count, man. What a what a morning. Alrighty, man. We'll see ya. Cruising. They've just been like breaching the surface on the wall, like slamming fish against the wall, dude. I think I caught like four over there and then two over here. Like just, uh, the first one was probably the biggest, like two and a quarter. But I saw about a three right here. They're just cruising in the grass, man. There's been a lot of action in the middle too. I just haven't got any bites out there. I've been casting. Oh, see that? See this, I'm telling you, dude, it's been like, it's been, it's been crazy. They've been just smashing bait. Oh, no way. There's more of it over here. This place is just endless opportunity. Oh, big one right below us. Rattling Ned has seen better days. It has caught all the fish this morning. I'm going to go ahead and put it on a different plastic. I'm going to run to the truck real quick, though. I've got an idea. I was just on my way back to the truck. Y'all check me out. I got all the junior size Guggen baits. I have the junior trench hogs. I'm about to rig one of those up. That is a secret that is no longer a secret. I'm having to spoil it early because Torrance just hit me up. He caught like a three pounder, he says. We gotta go see what's up. <laughs> Torrance just got here, by the way. I don't know if I told y'all that, but look at that dude. That's a fat one. That's lengthy, bro, lengthy. on the Ned. I saw him. I, I mean, saw him like, swipe and I just threw the Ned in there again. And all I see is him swipe again and he had it. I've been trying to cast all over where I see him burst and I just get random ones. That's, <laughs> man, I've been trying to do just, that all morning. I just saw this guy, dude. You gotta hurry up and get him back. We are on that rattling Ned game hard this morning. Nice Yo, fish, man. heck yeah. Oh, do you mind getting the picture? Of course. <laughs> Dude. They've been cruising. Sorry. They've been cruising. She going. <laughs> I can't believe it's blowing up like that. They're going crazy, right? I, I was hoping you would see it because I was like, they kind of stopped a little bit. Yeah. But, all right. Man, right <laughs> off right off the wall over there, there was one that was just that big or maybe even bigger, like that length but fat. Yeah. I like dropped the net right on him and he didn't bite it. I got something different planned. I'm going to Ned rig one of the smaller trench hogs. <laughs> I'm trying to get I'm trying to find the big but but look dude I mean at the same time like that's a smally so treat juicy. I'm gonna take off a little bit of the the head there okay about a half inch toss that in the pocket let's just go ahead and rig this whole trench on here oh this is gonna be so, mm, hungry bass yeah every time people have been walking past me they've been giving me the look like what well, you you know you don't see that sign right there <laughs> All right, let's see what happens with this right here. Look, if that doesn't catch a trophy, I don't know what will. <laughs> Even like a third place trophy. <laughs> Introducing, out of the left corner, the Ned Hog, miniature version of the Big Brother, here to catch a toad. Yo! Introducing, out of the left corner. Ooh, had one. Dang. Got him. There we go. Ned Hog getting him. That was easy. <laughs> okay. Okay, hear me out. That was literally right after I put my phone in my pocket and casted in this corner. I mean, I got a hit. I missed one. I just drug it a little further and bloop. I think that's number six, that might be number seven. Right in the top of the mouth, that's what you want, guys. Solid hook set, baby hog. They're biting this morning. Yeah. <laughs> the second fish for you, right? Uh, this is like six. Oh, I've six caught a bunch, hog. yeah. Yeah, they're all going crazy this morning, aren't yeah. they? There he goes, okay. All right, let's get you back, little buddy. Cruising. <laughs> Y'all enjoy your morning. Thank you. Okay, this right here might become one of my favorite baits, you guys. Look at this, a Ned Rigged Trench Hog. I'm pretty sure this is a quarter ounce weight right here, 
checking my line to make sure it's not frayed because I know at any point one of these bass is going to break me off and I'm going to be so upset about losing this rig right here. But uh, anyways, let's get this back in the water. There's just too much action to not be casting. You hear? They are all over. A little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, he came right over to it. He's got it. He's got it. Back to back. They love the hog, man. Tearing it up. Let's go. Whoo! Two casts in a row on the baby hog. That might be, that might be the new deal. Okay, story time. See you, bud. This corner seems to just be loaded. And they are rushing over here, man. Something about that silver flash and those extra appendages on this thing. I think it's it's pulling them in from a little bit further away. I saw that last one swim over to it, just dart over when it hit the water. Definitely getting their attention with the baby hog. Surprisingly enough too, working it through this grass is not that bad. And this is a, a heavier wire hook than most of my net hooks. So I'm able to kind of pull through it. I'm not really bending this hook out at all. Um, I, I'm liking this stronger and heavier mushroom head jig I've got here. Oh God, he darted for it. That was epic. Wow. He just like, <laughs> oh God. I mean, he wanted to beat those other two fish to it. I saw three fish swim over for this hog, man. They were fighting over it. Sick, sick. We're catching bass. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's nowhere near as good down there. It's just, it's just open water. There's like nothing for them to chill out in. But if we go back out there, I'll probably tie on like another rattling net. That way I got the opportunity for those smallies because I know that, oh, because they're here. Yes. Oh, we're by double. Oh, doubled up and this one's good. Oh, this one's good. Yo. You got him? No, it's not. No, it's not. Rattling Ned? Is that you? That's your first one ever. Your first one ever, right? No way. Yes. Yes. Guys, we weren't lying. Look, there's smallies out here. I got you. Hey, thank you. First double up of the morning. What? <laughs> we got some good ones this morning. That's nuts, man. We knew the smallies were in here, dudes. That's what we came here for. Oh, Torrance caught the first one of his life, dude. Rattling Ned, right? You said? Yeah. Nuts. And that then right at the same time, so we link up with this fun. chunk right here, dude. <laughs> this is, a, this freaking hog is getting it done, dude. Holy smokes, his first smallmouth. I'm ready to get him. Torrance on again with another good one. The bite is on today. What is going on, man? <laughs> We're just, I don't know if we're getting lucky or what. Okay. <laughs> Well, I was trying to switch the battery in the GoPro because this one's getting low and they like to freeze up on me when they get low. So let me switch that real quick. But T's on with another fish, man. Just tearing them up. Oh, Did you oh, really? Sweet. That's so cool. I, I'm, I just moved here and I'm like, yeah. this is the coolest freaking place ever. Isn't it awesome? And like, then I see you guys fishing. It's like, no. Nah, that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really cool. We're lucky. Very they are biting this morning. Thank you. You want to try walking it down any further or just fish here? Okay. I might just start casting out into the middle. They kind of changed the game on us, I think. Oh, at the last one. Yeah. yeah, there's, yeah. A lot of, there's actually a lot more grass. You can see. Like the water was a little bit clear when I went yesterday. I just saw grass. It was like everywhere. Dude. Some of it goes so far, uh, far out too. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, first one out far. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, 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 he's good. Oh my gosh. It's just a big, I thought it was like a halibut. <laughs> Did you see that belly flash? Oh my gosh. I didn't know what it was, but he just got some teeth and he's feisty. Look at that. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. This, this, uh, this morning, dude, it's just been something. Baby hog do 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 that's a big fish. <laughs> Alright, see you bud. Thank you for playing. Well, I guess I'm casting straight out now. <laughs> I 
I can deal with that. I don't know why I didn't uh, weigh it. Uh, I cast it way over there and it hit like in the middle, like dead center. Yeah. Uh, not the most recent one, but I've been watching a lot of their underwater stuff, so. Oh, 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 another. Got Oh, it's a little guy. Oh, it's a little guy. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I was about ready to go off. All right, they switched the game on us, guys. We literally are now catching our first couple bass out deeper. And this is the smallest one of the day for me. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. I might have pinpointed their location over. They are right out there in the uh, middle. Any second, mine's about to... Well, what did you have on that one? Uh, just a T-rig with a prop. Oh, shit. Oh, three in a row. Three in a row. It's big. It's big. It's big. Oh, no, it's not. But it's not small. I felt... So oh, oh, it's actually... It is actually kind of big. Dude, they are right there in the middle. What is going on? Somebody call the doctor. That thumb is getting torn to shreds. Look at the spots on this thing. This is nuts, dude. Three casts back to back. I think that's my second time, like even recently going three casts in a row. All right, baby hog crushing it, man. Get back in there. I gotta get some more. Dude, these things are exclusive too. This is the 4.65 inch trench hog. About to hook torrents up, man. I'm pretty sure these things are like sold out. They're like off market. I don't know where you can even find these, dude. They were on Tackle Warehouse, I think, and I don't even know. I don't even know what's up these days. This is the natural color. I might sell these on eBay. The last four for like a hundred bucks, smart, bro. <laughs> Everyone's been saying as soon as they find the smaller sized Guggen baits, they're, they're like sold out everywhere. So I gotta stock up on these baby hogs, dude. Keep it on. This is ready. I'm sorry. You keep everything. Uh, I tore off like a half inch, if that. Okay. Yeah. Well, guys, that makes it three and one. Dang, couldn't go four for four. All right. I bet we can now just start walking back and just hit the middle yeah. this whole way and just tear them up. Dude, the bigger ones are out there. Yeah, somebody already s sent me the old Smalley Pond. Security ain't kicked y'all out yet. <laughs> Who's the security guard? How'd you get the okay? Confidential, baby, confidential. <laughs> y'all know there's no fishing. No, we're catching. Hey, but for real though, let's get out of the way. Let's walk behind them. They're coming this way. Morning. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All access YouTuber pads, baby. <laughs> the hog has definitely put in some serious work, but I'm thinking it's time to switch it up just a hair. Let's square bill it up for a minute. Oh, one was just chasing it. I just had a good one chase it if you want to try and get him. That square bill just wasn't going down deep enough since I'm up way high. So this lipless, I'll be able to control the depth and kind of rip it through this stuff. I think this will be better. All right, guys, I ran back to the truck. That bottom bite started to taper off. They uh, were going after the, the clutch though. Couldn't get the square bill into the strike zone because I was too high, so it wasn't sinking low enough. So I got the clutch. I had a couple bass chase that, but it's not as weedless as I need it to be in that grass. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to rig up just a uh, more weedless setup here. I'm gonna put one of the 3.3 inch saucy swimmers in just that pearl white color. And then this is one of those flash bangs off of Carl's site. Just so you know, all this stuff you guys can purchase as a Carl's club member like us for 30%. Cause that's where we get a ton of our tackle every single month we place an order. And this stuff right here, straight off the site, man. I'm gonna give this probably another 30, 45 minutes then I gotta run home and take care of the dogs. All right, man, rigged and ready. Check us out. Torrance got a swim jig and a wacky rig set up. We got our little swimmer on the hook, looking good. And we are rocking that SLX XT, loving this reel, man. Casts a mile, the thing is sick for the uh, price. It's an entry level Shimano and it gets the job done, dude, with authority. Also, 7.3 medium heavy rod is what we've been throwing all morning, Powell Endurance. I don't talk about them too much, but, but yeah, that's the gear we're throwing. Pairs nicely with the reel. There we go. 
Had to switch it up a little bit, man. That's all it takes. Bite died on the slow stuff. We'll see you, bud. Thanks for playing. Right out of the shade under the bridge. Dude, all right. Over here's the area. No way. Well, they might have migrated to this area. All right, final effort in the last like 15 minutes. We're going to uh, retie on a Ned Rig and try and get another smallmouth. What a day, man. Mission complete, wrapping things up by almost 10 o'clock. Rigged and ready with rattling Ned. There we go. Maybe the biggest one of the day. Oh my gosh. Out of nowhere on the Ned Rig. I just decided to cast while Torrance is getting his stuff out of the car. Definitely the biggest one of the day. Wow. Nope, nope, nope. Don't do that. Burning my line here. <sighs> wow. Definitely the biggest one of the day. The bite has died down. I literally was just casting while Torrance went to go grab his stuff. No way. Look at that black spot. Holy cow. He is not going to believe when he walks around that corner and I just caught this thing. That is like a three and a half right there. Oh my gosh. Can you say biggest one of the day? <laughs> I was like, I'll just cast real quick while I'm waiting. On the what? On the rattling Ned. Got him good, all right. We're gonna weigh the first fish of the day. See what we're talking about here. There we go. They're settled, three and a quarter, man. Biggest one of the day. Heck yes, let's get them back in the water. Could be the last fish of the session, man. Big old three and a half pounder. We're gonna say goodbye and uh, walk this down a little bit more with the rattling head, see if we can't get a small mouth, but what a day, what a day. See ya. All right, I'm gonna walk it down and uh, try and get a smallie. Just had him. Got him. Oh, it's a largey. It's another good one. It's another good one. Nice. I want the small mouth though. I'm in it for the small mouth. Final moments. Gotta get a smallie. I've caught like 20 fish today. This is insane. All right, this might be my last retrieve right here. I got to split. Take care of the puppies. I let them out earlier before I left, but it's been uh, about four hours now, so. All right, y'all, gotta run. I'll catch up with you back at the house. All right, man, we're back at the house. What a crazy day of fishing. <laughs> Nuts, dude. I mean, we wrapped that thing up in three hours, basically. We kind of stuck it out for one more hour, just trying to see if they would uh, hang on, that bite would last. We got a couple more fish, but I mean, what? Ooh, insane. First ever smallmouth for Torrance. Go ahead and look him up. Drop a comment when he posts that picture. Give it a like. And uh, yeah, that's just about it. Thank you guys. One video a day. Let's keep them rolling. See you next time. Peace out. <coughs>